lot on the line here. Rematch, potential presidency on the line. The LSC Prez may have to step down. According to what we're hearing, we haven't heard uh, any necessarily official word on that, but it sure does sound like there's a little bet going on there with her and Kane. And ooh, it's not interesting in touching the gloves there. Such a maxi to do, says Coach Kane. All right, co-main event here at LSC 23, live from Kansas City. Big implications and the results of this match. Here we go, Honey Punch and the boss. You have to wonder if Kyle's really thinking about everything that is on the line or if this is just more personal for her. Yeah, it definitely, I think, Initially, definitely the fighters wants to get that win back. Oh, that's a tough way to get oh, it done. Oh, that'll right get there. things out of your head right there. <laughs> Can't think much about the coach in the rematch when you're getting flipped over. Nearly stepping over the mount was Frost. Kyle did a good job of hanging on to half guard. Jade are reminding him to take her out, take Kane out. So I guess we do know what the motivation is there, at least what they've been talking about. Frost does step over the mount. She'll look to strike here. She's controlling the wrist from the top. You can see uh, the, the size difference there. Only listed at five pounds, but it seems to be more than that when you see the two bodies next to each other. That's true. That's true. Nice job switching that over and getting top. Maybe get a little payback with them elbows. I'll briefly enjoy the top before the Prez just switches it right back and backs away. Wants to reset on the feet. Rushing forward, I'll tell you what, that was a tired little run forward. I, I think the concerns of the training may be real. Yeah. She's working herself into a little choke position there. Pretty much, oh, she's forced to give it up. Yeah, she was still trying to grab that. Had to let it go, and now Frost is back on top. Nice strikes from the top. Yeah, I'm wondering if we're going to see a conditioning at some point it, it, if the boss is going to be able to keep it in there. Now they're just going to be careful with that arm. Controlling the wrist underneath is Kyle looking for a potential arm bar. Maybe transition to a triangle choke if she can get the legs up a little bit higher, but definitely controlling the wrist underneath. Brad's trying to pull away and does just power away. Moves back to the feet. Interesting. She's reset on her own back to the feet each time. And again, with one minute left here in this opening round, I mean, already, I think, showing some signs of fatigue. Those advances right there, just very, very tired. You can see Kyle briefly thinks about wrapping the neck. Instead, has to defend the takedown. Oh, look for the trip. Kind, kind of, of a twisting little trip there. Little Interesting. So she wants to attack that knee, possibly. Yeah, trying to isolate that right leg there, but Kyle sweeps over to the top. Doesn't quite get it done. Still got that right leg in danger. You can see her hooking the ankles to try to keep the pressure off the leg. Back and forth scrambles on the ground there, battling for position. Kyle doing a good job, again, of keeping her legs crossed to keep that right leg safe. That's Tango. Nice shots to the midsection from the boss. Sweeping to the top is Kyle just at the bell. First round is in the books. I'll tell you what. That's tough. It's it's tough one to score. It is a tough one. Let's take a look at some of the replays of that first round action. I, the takedowns were here is what I really liked from, from the press. And that's probably why I'd lean in her direction on my scorecard. But it was interesting because once she got to these positions, she really wasn't able to do much with it. Yeah, great. Wasn't very active. He really had, the, had the trip for kind of side twisted and kind of lost and almost gave up her back in the, in the process. Bizarre decision there. You see Serena looks pretty relaxed there in the corner. A couple deep breaths. Meanwhile, the Perez, I think, is definitely showing a little concern. Definitely some heavy breathing going on there. But I, I'd still probably lean slightly towards Maxine in this one. You're probably right. Coach King expressed a little frustration as for why Serena let one of the attempts go. I mean, he's got to have a little extra pressure on him. I'm not, you got to think he's got to be really trying to urge her on. If in fact his job is on the line. Could be hanging in the balance. If nothing else, his, his pride's got to be on the line. I mean, she sure. got up in the cage earlier tonight and basically just called him out for being useless. So. What are we doing here? What is it? What's happening? 
<laughs> Interesting exchange there in the corner. With Kyle and Kane. Hey, whatever it takes, whatever your fighter needs, the best thing is to make your fighter comfortable, keep her motivated. So if she needs to do that little mind meld Star Trek thing or whatever we just saw, hey, you gotta do what you gotta do for your fighter. And hey, which Kane? All right, second round. I don't know where we were going with that one. <laughs> we'll put another three minutes on the clock here. Again, intense battle here in our co-main event at LFC 23 live from Kansas City. Get it on! The rematch here between these two fighters. The Prez in the black. Kyle in the uh, Big takedown again. Maxine Frost seems to be able to get the fight here pretty much any time she wants it. It's just what she does from here. Extend those legs and do a kickoff. Oh, nice job. Yeah, straight oh, straight into the arm bar. And the, oh, the tap. Yeah. Wow. Woo. Quick finish. Incredible work there. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. What a slick transition. And the press storms out of the cage. She is not happy. Take a look at a replay of the action. Beautiful takedown. Ross was able to get here over and over, but it was that kickoff straight into the armbar. Quickly extends it, quickly tacks. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called this, this contact. 30 seconds into round number two. Here's your winner by armbar submission, Serena Honey Punch. If I can get a word with you, please, after this huge victory, you actually lost to Maxine Frost in your debut at LFC 19 after suffering a torn MCL. Does this win tonight prove that you only lost that match because of the injury? And with that loss, of course, now, are you glad that Maxine is going to have to resign as LFC friends? Oh, did she get in the first place? Well, congratulations on your huge victory once again, Serena Honeypunch Kyle! Honeypunch not mincing words towards her former opponent.